Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you how this uh, fire and lava effect was done uh, for this planet impact tutorial. Uh, so, so yeah, so in this video tutorial, we're gonna focus on this part of the image here, so which has got the fire splashing and the uh, lava. Um, effect here. Now, this is all done through one single uh, stock image um, with the help of some manipulation techniques. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've got a, a fire lava effect folder uh, here, uh, which is uh, which contains uh, a bunch of uh, layers. Uh, so this is basically the folder that has all these five facts um, here on the image. So I'm just gonna show you from scratch how this was done. Now let's uh, just create a new layer. Just uh, call it anything; doesn't really matter. Um, now we can go to this uh, fire stock image. And we're gonna use the quick selection tool uh, with a with a hard brush setting. Um, we're gonna select a piece of the fire texture. Um, we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna paste that onto the new layer. Now we wanted to uh, adjust the angle and the shape of the fire texture a little bit. Now we can press Control plus T. Right click and click on this tool. Gonna adjust the shape of the fire to fit the shape of the this angle. And uh, you can also right click and go into the warp option and just warp that edge a little bit just to make it um, fit the um, angle of the uh, planet a bit more um, yeah and you can also scale scale that down a bit just to um, fit the impact area now once you're down just press enter to apply the change we wanted to then add, it, add a, um, a layer mask. So click on this uh, add a layer mask button. Uh, we're gonna use a, a soft eraser, which is uh, which is uh, basically zero percent hardness. Um, gonna erase some part of the fire off just to. Just to blend it in with the rest of the image. Yeah, and you wanted to adjust the position a bit as well. And uh, just get rid of all that bits. Now, as you can see, you sort of blend that fire into. Um, the rest of the um, uh, textures, uh, including the rocky uh, mountains and and all that. Now we wanted to just soften the fire texture a little bit, so we wanted to go to the noise, uh, reduce noise. Oh, sorry. Um, firstly, click on the uh, fire texture layer. Uh, then we're going to filter noise and reduce noise. Um, wanted to just smooth the um, the fire texture and reduce some of the color noise. Um, yeah, so press OK, and then as you can see now we've got a fairly soft um, um, fire effect uh, here. Now this is this will basically be used as a, as the base of the 
as the uh, as the base of the uh, lava effect and then what we're going to do is um, go back to the texture file texture and we will we'll, we'll select another portion of the uh, the fire just to give that a bit more variety copy that we're going to paste that back into the image Again, we're gonna distort, distort that a bit, and uh, we're gonna just um, yeah adjust the angle as well. Just uh, warp that, warp that a little bit as well. Yeah, we're gonna again add a um, layer mask, and then we're gonna erase the the edge. So now we wanted to change the layer blending mode um, to um, either hard light or vivid light. Uh, if you want to change the vivid light, just make sure you reduce the opacity a little bit um, down to about maybe 50%. Uh, if you wanted to choose hard light, uh, just make just set it as 100%. So. Yeah, then you will add some variety to the fire. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna turn off those two layers. We're gonna we wanted to go back to the layer that I have made. And uh, as you can see now, basically if you repeat repeat the uh, steps I shown you above, and then just gradually build up the fire uh, effect um, by just adjusting the shape and the uh, angle of the fire, and you and uh, you know combine that with the um, free transform tool, and and you can make this sort of um, um, impact area larger, and also add some uh, um, f splashing effects um, uh, around the uh, around the area. All right, so um, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, pretty much it for this tutorial, and uh, hope I uh, sort of uh, cl clarify a few things uh, in this tutorial, and uh, yeah, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.